Hello guys, welcome back to In 5 Minutes. In this presentation, we are going to see the joint test action group. We have already seen the test generation pattern for the fault models and the fault simulations. Okay, but uh, it is very cumbersome to have the number of test vectors and the number of fault models. We have the number of faults due to the test vectors, sample test vectors, and the pattern generators. But after getting this, uh, resolving this issue, the group of uh, technicians or the group of engineers came together to find out a particular solution for this and that's why this is called as joint test action group that is nothing but the JTAG. Now JTAG is nothing but a circuit in which the test patterns are automatically generated and the faults are controlled with the help of JTAG control. So what we are going to do, we are going to see the specific block diagram for the JTAG control and the JTAG itself. So let us moving out to the block diagram. So here is the block diagram for a JTAG chip. Okay. So first chip is there in which we'll go one by one. So first of all, we have here JTAG control. Okay. Now from this JTAG control, a flash controller and a debug controller, which is placed inside, which can communicate through the JTAG controller and JTAG control can command the flash controller as well as debug controller giving out the outputs to JTAG and JTAG is controlling to the debug controller. Outside to this flash controller and debug controller, what we have is cheap IO. This IO input output which is connected to the boundary scan and the boundary scan is connected to the output circuits. So for this outlines number of digital circuits are connected. Okay. So there are IO chip is required input output chip to connect the flash controller to the boundary scan with this output to digital, circ digital circuits. So this side digital circuits are present on the three sides digital circuits are present. Okay. Through the boundary scan. Now what is the importance of the boundary scan with the JTAC control? Okay. So to the JTAC control, the controlling units are mentioned here. That is TOI, TCK and TMS. So let us see the full form for this ones. Uh, these are the abbreviations for TOI is the abbreviation for tag data out. TOI is data in or uh, not an input. So particularly I have to write data in only. So data will be in. It is not an input. Input is specific. And what are the data we are, I wish to check is the data in. So this will be data is coming in. TCK that is the top tag clock or T clock. It is read as T clock, which is used to shifting the data in the boundary scan, right? Okay. And the final one is TMS. That is nothing but the shifting operation of the JTAG. Shifting JTAG data. Okay.